The TEMI scoring is a risk score or stratification we use to discern whether or not somebody with unstable angina or an NSTEMI needs uh, emergent PCI. So on the left here, this is an EKG of a true STEMI with an inferior MI. You can see two leads two and three. You've got that pronounced ST elevation. That's easy, right? We know they need a door to balloon time. They need to go to um, PCI immediately and, and undergo intervention. But the question becomes, what do we do when somebody has unstable angina or has an NSTEMI? So something we can do and something we can use is the TEMI scoring system. And it's basically here to evaluate whether or not the person needs a PCI. So we're going to go through that scoring criteria. You get one point for each of the following. An age greater than 65, um, you get three points um, for a CAD risk factor. Excuse me, you get one point for um, coronary artery disease risk factors that include hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, diabetes, somebody with a family history of known CAD or a current smoker. And then um, if they have a known history of CAD with greater than 50% stenosis, that's one point. If they've used aspirin in the past seven days, they get another point. If they have severe angina greater than two episodes in the past 24 hours, you get another point. And then at EKG, ST elevation changes greater than or equal to 0.5 millimeters in concomitant leads. And then if they have positive cardiac markers like elevated troponin. So each of those is one point. If you have a score greater than three, uh, their TEMI score is greater than three, they are high deemed high risk and they need to undergo PCI. Okay, so that's kind of the how you discern whether or not somebody with unstable angina and instemming needs PCI. Um, if you're new here, guys, like and subscribe if you uh, find this content helpful. Um, in the interim, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for your time.